Year 9 just came out, and with it, so did Deimos, so you need to learn how to play him for the new season. In order to play him though, you need to learn his loadout. He has the primary option between the AK-74 and the M590A1, which is smoke and mute shotgun. Now with these two options, you can actually run both and it be viable. Personally, I run the shotgun because I'm good enough with the 44 Vendetta that I don't really need a primary, kind of like you would be with Cav, and I like using the shotgun for close range kills for absolutely free, or to be secondary vert in case we just need more vert ops. But if you want to run the AK-74, it now has the ACOG, which is great and has a lot of ammo too. So either way, you can run whatever you want. He also has frag grenades or hard breaching charges. Now, unless you're going to get hatches open and nobody else has hard breaching charges, nine times out of 10, you're going to bring those frag grenades because they're going to help you clear people out of corners. And if you know where they're in a corner based off of your demos tracking, you can nade them out and then pre-fire when they run away. It's a really, really good strategy that I use pretty often. But with it out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. So first of all, let's just look at Deimos' ability. He has these little mini helicopters that he can go track people down as long as they have been identified. This means they've either been red pinged, they've been tracked by Jackal, or anything else that would red ping somebody. Once the helicopter is able to track somebody after a short cooldown period after you red ping them, it essentially gives you wall hacks onto that person, and it's a constant ping. Kind of like Caviera's interrogation, or Lion on release. You get the idea you'll get a constant ping on somebody for absolutely free, as long as you red ping them and they're not in a mute jammer or playing vigil, you can pretty much red ping them, but more on his counters later. The downside of this is they also get a ping on you. It's not continuous, but you get pinged once every one to two seconds. It's really just like a 1v1 duel kind of ability. It's it, pretty good because you still get a more continuous ping on them than they would get on you, so you'll still have the advantage most of the time. Not only this, but the 44 Vendetta that we went over earlier can actually shoot through soft walls and do a lot of soft penetration, meaning that you can wall bang people a lot easier than they can wall bang you. And if that wasn't enough, this pistol does an insane 7 78 per damage shot, which means that it can 2 tap, 2 speeds, 3 speeds, and it can do a lot of damage to 3 armors. Not only this, but because the scope on the pistol isn't that zoomed in, like compared to Cade and Nomad's pistol, you can still get a lot of accuracy out of the gun too, and it's very, very easy to learn in terms of the sensitivity. You go into an arcade, maybe one or two times with the pistol, you'll get it down packed. Also, a quick little side note, on stream last night, I bit my tongue so hard that it was kind of bleeding everywhere, so if I'm talking not as energetically, that's why I'm in a lot of pain. Back on track though, now that you know what his ability does, how are you actually supposed to use it? Well, when he came out, most people assumed that you were supposed to use him as a roam clearing operator, but most people have actually adapted to playing vertically with him, or at least trying to kill people on sight. Well, both of these are technically correct ways to use him, but I think the most effective way would actually be to roam clear with him, especially if you have comms. Now, the one thing about Deimos' ability is yes, you get a continuous ping on them, but none of your other teammates get that ping. It's just you. Now, your teammates will be alerted that you are pinging somebody, but again, they won't actually see that ping. So they'll know when you're tracking somebody, but not where. So the more information you're able to relay to your teammates, the better. If I'm tracking somebody and I know that they're like, you know, blue bar on coastline, I can call out, hey, this kid's blue bar and coastline prone behind the table, right? That's a lot of information off of just one ping. Now all my teammates can act on that and we can pre-fire this kid and kill him for absolutely free. So you get the idea, the more communication that you have with your teammates, the better it is. Not only this, but roam clearers are typically outnumbering the roamers. Usually there's one to two roamers, while there needs to be at least three people roam clearing if you're going for a vert take. So using him to roam clear is not only powerful, but it's arguably the most viable thing that you can do. And that's just Deimos by himself. If you pair up Deimos with people like Dokubi, with people like Jackal, you can roam clear even more efficiently now that your teammates have the same information that you do without you really having to relay any comms. Like I said earlier too, Jackal can actually reveal people with his eye knock scans if he footprint scans them, which means once Jackal scans somebody, you don't have to drone them out and waste your drone, you can just actually ping them. And now you and Jackal are both 1v1ing a roamer, which is super, super powerful. And even in a solo queue environment where you can't really trust your teammates, if you see Jackal's pushing one way, you can just push the opposite way and then pinch the kid. It's a really, really easy concept to understand. You can do the same thing with Lion too, which is arguably an even more powerful combo because if you track somebody, even if they're on site, you have wall hacks on them. But if they're being Lion scanned, they're gonna have to sit still and let you pre-fire them so they'll be dead. Well, what if they move? Well, if they move, Lion will ping them. So now you and Lion can see them and both of you can pre-fire them. So it seems like either way, they're just dead, right? 
unless of course they're in a mute jammer which brings me to the next part of the video the counters who can counter deimos and what do you need to be looking out for as deimos so that you don't get countered well first of all obviously like i said earlier the first counter would be mute if anybody is inside of the radius of a mute jammer they cannot be tracked by your ability now your ability won't even activate if they're inside of a mute jammer before you use it so luckily you won't actually be wasting one of your pieces of utility however if they track an actual enemy combatant and that enemy goes into a mute jammer afterward, it will completely disable the track and you'll waste one of your helicopters as long as they stay in the mute jammer the entire time. So mute is an excellent counter to Deimos. And with a lot of people starting to slow down the meta in an information meta and start droning more because they don't have 1.5 times scopes, mute is an increasingly more played operator. So he's definitely something that you should be worried about as a Deimos player. And if mutes typically are on site, that means they're setting up mute jammers on site, which means that actually clearing people who are anchoring is a lot harder than clearing people who are roaming, which brings me back to my first point or which brings me back to my first point earlier Deimos is definitely better suited for roam clearing than he is for killing anchors through roofs and ceilings and floors but it's still viable to do that if you know they don't have a mute now let's move on to Deimos's next counter vigil vigil counters Deimos the same way that he counters lion whenever either of them try to ping the vigil the vigil can just activate their ability and now Deimos can't track vigil it's very very similar to how it works with lion uh, but arguably even a little better and with how Deimos' pistol works, as long as his ability is active, that means only Deimos can use the revolver. And as long as you're, you know, running the Boss G or you're running the K1A, both are great and excellent weapons for holding good angles, you're going to win the gunfight against the guy with just a pistol 9 times out of 10 if you're holding long and tight angles. He can pre-fire you, but the tighter of an angle you're holding from a longer away distance, the harder and harder that's going to be, especially for my console players who are watching this video. So if you want to counter Deimos, you can just run Vigil. You can hold really, really aggressive and tight pixel angles from very far away and the Deimos can't really do anything unless he wall bangs you but again you'll get pings on him and he won't be able to get pings on you if you're playing vigil and activating his ability so vigil is just a great counter to Deimos but now let's talk about one of the biggest and easiest and best ways to counter Deimos and that is simply just running away from Deimos now one of the things that I talked about when Deimos came out is all they have to do is run back to site to their teammates and have their teammates bait them but you don't even have to run back to your teammates you can literally just run away and this works the bigger the map is too if you're playing on a map like layer night haven labs bank or theme park where there's a lot of room that you can kind of mess around with and run away to and still be on the roam then this is really really good but if you're playing on a map like border where there's absolutely no space that you can roam on this becomes a lot less viable of a strategy and running away to your teammates on site might be even better but then you're allowing the Deimos to roam clear you for absolutely free anyway, so it might as well be like you aren't living. So just try to run away from the Deimos as much as you can. If you're playing Deimos and you see someone is actively running away from you, hawk that motherfucker down. The only issue with that is a lot of the times if they're running away from you, chances are they're running to a teammate. And because you can only track one person at a time unless you have a Dokubi or someone's droning you in, chances are you're getting baited and you're probably going to die. So as Deimos, if they're running away, especially if they're running away towards site, be wary of the fact that you might honestly get like you know locked in on one person and not recognize that there's other people around that happens to me and a lot of other demos players we get so tunnel visions on one guy that we don't realize all the teammates that are waiting for you to swing the angle so that is the best way that i found that you can counter demos in my games and it's something as a demos player you should be looking out for but with the counters out of the way let's talk about my next point and how to actually play demos like I said, in order for Deimos' ability to work, you have to actually have people red pinged. Now, does this mean that you should get on your drone in the prep phase and run your drone into site to try to red ping as many people as possible? Well, it depends. Most of the time, if you're a solo queue player, or, or just in general, really, the answer is no. You never want to run your drone into site unless you're playing an operator like Yana or a shield operator that gives you a lot of information without you really having to worry about it. But Deimos is not one of those operators. Now, you might be thinking, obviously, that you need red things in order for his ability to work, so this might make sense, right? Well, the issue is that you're wasting a drone that you could use to red ping those people on the road clear anyways. Not only this, but... If you have teammates and you're solo queuing, chances are they're bad enough and they're going to throw their drones inside anyway. So all you have to do is get on their drones and start red pinging whenever they run their drones into site. It's pretty easy. But even then, if you're pinging people on site, chances are they're going to be anchoring, not roaming. And you really want to focus on roamers, like I said. So you don't even want to waste your time with a drone in the prep phase. What you want to be doing as Deimos is keeping your drone safe. You want as many drones as possible because you want to be able to drone out the roamers. 
if you drone out a roamer, red ping that roamer, and now you know exactly who's roaming and who to red ping based off of who you just red pinged. A huge issue with Deimos is that a lot of the times you don't know who's roaming, so you don't know who to ping with your little helicopter ability, which means if you ping the wrong person, you have a long cooldown until you can actually ping the other person that you think is roaming, and even then, they might not even be the roamer. If you have a team of, let's say, Thorn, Mozzie, Vigil, Cav, and Rook, you really can only eliminate, like, Rook off the table of people who might be roaming, right? The other four people might be roaming, right? Like, they're, they're roamers, so you never know who you're going to track. But if you don't red ping the prep phase and you start droning yourself in on the roam clear and then you red ping people as they're roaming, then you know exactly who's roaming, where they're roaming, and all that ping does is help you secure the exact position in where they're roaming. So now, instead of droning in the prep phase and trying to guess who's roaming, you've essentially locked down, you know who's roaming, so you know who to track, and that makes roam clearing a lot quicker more efficient and easier for you to do. So don't drive your drone into prep phase, drive your drones in when you're trying your roam clear and you'll get a lot more efficiency out of Deimos. Another thing that I noticed with Deimos players is once they realize that they should be roam clearing as Deimos, they don't know when to stop roam clearing because the whole point of Deimos is to track people down and kill them. But a lot of the times what will happen is your teammates will be winning so much that it's like a 4v2 and you have a guy on site and you're still roam clearing somebody who is probably rotating back to site anyway. So you need to learn when to stop roaming and stop playing vert and roam clearing and you need to learn when to help your team and get back to site and maybe even to track some anchors if you know hey my teammates are monty pushing on to site they have a ying they have a capital they have a grim whatever it may be they're trying to go for a smoke plant roamers are not an issue here you need to track down people on site so you can give calm as to where they are and who they are and what utility they might have to actually counter your team's push because like i've talked about time and time again in my videos it is better as a teammate for you to support your teammates doing a dumb plan than it is for you to do a smart plan but all by yourself I'll give you another example not even Deimos related to prove this point. If you're playing Thermite trying to get a wall open, that might be really, really good intentions, but if you have no one helping you get that wall open and they're rushing site, the wall's not getting open. So you're just as useless as your teammates who are running on site because you can't get the wall open as Thermite in the first place. You might as well help the really dumb strategy of them rushing by playing a Finca to give him a boost, by playing Lion, by playing Dokubi, by playing Deimos, and then actually getting some value rather than trying to be like a big brain guy who just goes in with utility right so like i said with amos if they're rushing this site and you notice that and you find a way that you can help them by let's say tracking a smoke and getting comms on him do that who cares about the roamers if your teammates are, are planting on site the exact reverse opposite is the same as well if you're playing below for Deimos and you're trying to track anchors on site like a mirror or something to floor bang her why would you do that if all of your teammates are trying to roam clear right help them first Deimos is a roam clear for sure but because of the fact that he gets the most amount of edge off of his gadget from communication with your team he's more of a support roam clear than somebody like jackal who can go all on his own because all of his teammates can also see his utility right Deimos is really not as powerful as people think if you're not giving comms to your team and your team doesn't know where the information is right because only you have those pings but if you're relaying the information to your team then he's way 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 more powerful which is why i think you need to start prioritizing who your team is running into rather than your own solo strats but only on the occasion that all of your team is doing one very specific thing one other thing that i want to talk about with deimos is you need to learn when to track and when not to track he has a primary gun for a reason whether you chose the shotgun or you chose the ak it doesn't matter you need to learn when to just use those weapons versus wasting a scan and using your revolver now you would only actually use the scan and your revolver your actual ability if you don't know the exact position someone's in, you just know the room that they're in. But if you know and you can hear or maybe even see or you drone them out and you know the exact position they're in, maybe they're behind the aqua bar on coastline, like you know exactly where they are, pull out the primary gun. It's going to be a lot more reliable, even the shotgun, especially from close range distances. Again, you can use those frag grenades too to flush them out of positions, to use your primary gun to get that kill. And because of the recharge time of this ability, how long it takes to get your ability back up, again, because it is a rechargeable ability, sometimes it's just not worth using the ability at all. You only really want to save it on somebody that you need to wallbang or that you don't know the exact position of. Another great example is if you know they have a vigil, maybe don't waste a track on a vigil maybe just like go in use audio cues drone him out a little bit if his ability is worn out and then kill him right it's not worth wasting that rechargeable ability that takes forever to recharge so you don't really want to be like sparing or frugal with his ability but just have the game sense to know 
when it's time to save it and when it's time to use it, if that makes sense. Now, the final thing that I'm going to go over with Deimos is arguably the most important thing that I'm going to go over, uh, which might seem a little funny to somebody once I say it, but it's getting good with the revolver. If you're not good with the revolver, don't play Deimos. Even if you have the best game sense in the world and you're giving the best communication in the world, I don't recommend running him when you can just run somebody like Jackal or Dokibi who does Deimos' ability but with better weapons, right? Now, don't get me wrong, the Vendetta is a great weapon, but if I'm not good at the Vendetta, I'd rather just run the PDW on Jackal and do the same thing, but a little bit more dumbed down, if that makes sense. Now, if you're really good with the revolver, then play Deimos, but if not, just don't play him. And if you're not good, but you want to get good, go into shooting ranges and practice with that revolver. But you being good with that revolver is crucial if you want to play Deimos and you want to get value out of him. Me, personally, I'm cracked with that motherfucker. Call me moist critical the way I'm revolvering kids in this game. It's absolutely insane. But I didn't really have the game sense to back it up, but it didn't really matter just because of the nature of his ability being so solo cueistic in the first place. So mechanics with his revolver, honestly, is more important than the game sense with his ability, which you don't find in a lot of different operators, but he's definitely one of those operators where you want to focus the mechanics before you even try touching the operator and, and try touching him in range. You know what I mean? Like, get the revolver down packed. Make sure you're good with that thing. Go into a shooting range. Practice it a few times. <laughs> Going to the map tutorials, practice aiming head level a few times. Go into arcades, practice in arcades until you're really good at shooting actual players. Maybe go into an unranked and get the feel of how his gun is meant to be used in a round and wall banging people and things of that nature, and then go into ranked, right? You never want to play demos if you're not good with a revolver because like I said earlier, Whenever you activate your ability and you're tracking somebody, the game only allows you to use your revolver. You can't use your primary guns. So you need to be good with it if you're going to use his ability, and if you're going to use his ability, you're going to play him, right? So you need to be good with the revolver if you're trying to play him, and that's the biggest and best tip that I can give you as a Deimos player. If you're not good with the revolver, don't even bother with this video. But with that out of the way, my name's Alka. Check out this next video, sub to the channel down below, and I hope I'll see you there. Later.